So you want to know which pie burn to get. The roller, the grip, or the Omni? Great question. Let's talk about it. Hey, Major, Emily here, otherwise known as That Mom with a Laser and the brand ambassador for Eon Laser USA. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the Pyburn Omni that was sent to me by Lens Digital. We're gonna take a look at what makes this multi-purpose rotary special and how it compares to its sister products, the grip and the roller. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so I just unboxed everything and I watched their assembly video on how to assemble the grip attachment. And I, I'm just, I can't even believe it's this easy. If, if you were here several years ago with version one, the assembly process was more involved. This is ridiculously, ridiculously simple. So let's go ahead and attach my grip attachment. Okay, so check out how easy this is. All I'm gonna do is loosen these screws. And then pop it in place. I like to have mine, or at least my current grip, I have on the second rack and screwed into the front one here. So let me get that in there. And Tighten it up. Okay, seriously, you guys made that way too easy. Lens Digital, thank you. That was the easiest rotary setup assembly I have ever experienced. You guys rock. All right, so now that we've unboxed the Omni, I thought it would be helpful to show you all of the different options next to each other so you can see and understand the differences. The roller over here, this is what I think is really great for a beginner. You don't have to learn any complicated jaws like here. You'll have to learn how to thread these out, switch them out. And you also don't have to measure the circumference of your cup. With the roller, it's just grab and go. And it's also really easy to swap out the cups. Let me show you what I mean. So with the roller, all I do is grab and go, right? So I've got my cup, I set it in, I've got it all set up bam, I do my engrave and I'm good to go, right? Then I take this one out, grab the next one, bam, ready to go. Then repeat the process. Remove my cup, grab the next one, bam. So as you can see, it's very non-threatening, simple and easy to use. The grip on the other hand, it's a different type of rotary. It gives you a little more control, but it's a little more involved. Like you saw me say, you have to, you know, learn about how to switch out the these jaws right here for different applications. You also have to measure the circumference of the thing that you're working with, but it also gives you, like I said, a little more control, a better grip on the item depending on what it is. For example, a 40 ounce tumbler and you're trying to do like a seamless full wrap, that's where you wanna really make sure that the tumbler isn't going to, you know, budge at all. Or if you're trying to do an odd shaped item, let me show you what I mean. So with the grip, I can do a 40 ounce tumbler like this and watch how it's going to totally really grip the cup 
and secure it so that it doesn't move at all. Now, if I was trying to do so, like, you know, a design that went all the way up to here, I really wanna get this as strong as I can on the grip. And that's gonna allow me to do that, okay? It's also gonna allow me to do, you know, random things. Say for example, this little guy, it's like a little ceramic, I don't know, decorative thing. What if I wanted to personalize it? I don't know, it's just a random idea of something that's oddly shaped. Here, I can tighten it on here. Right, and then I can go ahead and maybe personalize my little ceramic thingy, you know? Um, so that's something that you could do here, but you would struggle with that on the roller. Let me show you. So here, you know, see, I can't really like grab that. That's all weird. It's, it's just not even gonna work, right? Where am I gonna put this thing, right? It just doesn't work. So if I had an odd shaped item like this that I was trying to engrave, I'd either have to lay it flat and only do the image, you know, so that it won't go around. You know, I had to do a small image or just chuck the idea all together. With the Omni, I kind of get the best of both worlds, right? I can have my grip set up for my 40 ounce tumblers and I can use it for odd shaped items. But then again, if I have a bulk order of say skinny cups, instead of having to, you know, attach it on the grip every time, I can just swap over to the roller and quickly, you know, make that turn around. Okay, so here you see I have the Pyburn grip and I use this all the time because 40 ounce tumblers are the main tumbler that I engrave on a regular basis, okay? But today, I have something different that I want to engrave and it actually doesn't work with this setup. So, let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And I have these little pencil uh, containers that I got at, at Target that I want to engrave but this configuration doesn't work. You see how these jigs are, these uh, jaws are too small. And even if I tighten them, I mean, they're too wide, right? Because this is way more narrow than this. Even if I tighten it, it still doesn't fit. So I have to reconfigure the little um, jaws so that it's tighter and it fits better. Not a big deal, but it's, it's now, you know, it's stopped my workflow. So with the Omni, all I would do is flip to the other side where I have the roller and then not have to bother with reconfiguring the jaws on my grip. Let me show you what I mean. Let me go ahead and show you a real life example of something I ran into recently and I was grateful that I had the Omni to make my workflow just seamless. So as you can see here in this scenario, I don't have to disrupt my setup for the, the one thing that I'm always engraving. And all I had to do was flip it around and put, put the roller in place. So now, that's all I had to do for this particular thing. I don't need a grip or a jaws for this item. So that just shows you how it just makes your workflow a little more efficient. If you find you have like a main item that you're doing all the time, but random one-off items that you don't wanna have to sit in you know, reconfigure your your jaws for. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these little guys and then I'm done for the day and I can swap it around and get back to business with my 40 ounce tumblers. I do also wanna mention that if you just wanna get the grip or you just wanna get the roller, you do have the option to add on the other type of rotary later on and turn it into an Omni. So you have lots of options here. I hope this helps. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. I can't wait to see you here and make more projects with you in the future. And with that, my friends, that's all I have for you today. So I'll see you here soon over at That Mom with a laser. Bye guys.